Hello everybody, welcome back to more Zig and Zagarot 2. We upped our difficulty, which should be an interesting test for a one threat on a on a higher difficulty, which I don't know, well, I'm curious to see how this is gonna shake out as far as how hard this is really going to be with those two facts combined, but we got ourselves a length four. Threat one, quad perk unlock. It just seems hard to pass that up as an option. Soul cutter, new wand. I feel like I kind of got it, even though we do have the uh, soul wand. Soul wand, soul cutter. I just realized there's two the relatively similar ones there. Red crystal is a new amulet for us. And I do not want to go into this new thing without something. I think that maybe, honestly, we haven't actually used the lava stone either. We're gonna go with the undead step, stepter. I keep on going over it. I keep on skipping it. And I also think that it might be fun to go for Argo. I think that might be a good, uh, a good fun idea since we have a very long fl uh, floor layout here today with four, a uh, four bop. Four bopper on the uh, the floor length, so either four floors or I I I don't think I've seen a four bopper in length be a five floor situation, but I guess I'm not gonna rule it out entirely. So a balanced mage, you have no strong. Okay, so we don't have any uh, we don't have any penalties to our damage like uh, like Jacob does. Don't have any penalty to movement speed, nothing like that. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of excited in a. What? That is a strange alt fire there, but holy crap, that's Is this piercing? Okay, we got to be we got to be careful. We don't know how much damage we might be taking here, but I'm hoping that they are these guys are resistant to that damage because it seems like the wand is doing roughly the same amount there. I think let's check out Oh I want to see what melee range damage does here, kind of. But, yeah, it sure seems like these guys are resistant to this. Oh, no! This is quite a quite a start, huh? Even if they're resistant, I think that this is the, uh... I think this is the play. Alright. God, this is... This is a bad... Such a bad start. Yep. Oh, mama. Sita. I do know that uh, one of the things that's supposed to be... Oh, you jerk. Supposed to be a factor with these uh, harder difficulty runs, you know, is that there's supposed to be more enemies. And I gotta say, strike one. Strike freaking one. This is an absurd amount of enemies for just literally our first room we've encountered. It does not help that they are resistant to the one non-wand weapon that we have. Yikes, man. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring her in. Melee range. Yeah, so it's not enough to one-shot there, but it's pretty close. I will say, first impressions of this wand seem very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, the up to five-star difficulty does. I just know that the in-game difficulty is supposed to be HP. Ooh. It's hard to not go for that. <laughs> oh, what the hell? That was so weird. Okay. That ended up working out fine. We got our mana pools decreased and then promptly uh, re-increased. So that was a fun trade. We effectively... We gained... Something, didn't we? What am I doing? This is not the room I thought it was. Okay. Waiting for my ledge grab. Or waiting for my dash, rather. There we go. That's one of my uh, preferred trap rooms. It's not... Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'll say I will take it because it is the uh, newest added staff. I think that that's... There's something kind of novel about that. The fact that it was just added to the game. That poor, the poor undead scepter. Oh my god. Immune. They're resistant to basic attacks. Oh. The undead scepter had the last laugh there, huh? The cursed 
Curse actually, I believe, is super effective against these these punks. Pretty sure. But yeah, it's it's weird to have an enemy. It, it just mentally, the Pokemon master in me thinks like just feels weird to be resistant to normal. Though I guess uh, ain't Rock type is resistant to normal. Never mind. Never mind. But still, these guys are freaking ghosts. They ghosts. I don't want to judge too early that, uh, like, the enemy's HP is too high or that there's too many of them. Don't want to do it too early. Because I think that it's, uh... It would be a bad call to do that when we've been continually running into enemies that are resistant to our stuff. Very curious to see how this pans out. First ten seconds. So, it's... Enemies don't spawn for a while. But 10 seconds is a long time. Okay, we're using mana now. Fair enough. This isn't piercing, is it? I still can't... I can't quite tell if it's piercing. It would probably say. Eh, still not quite sure. Hey! I'm gonna get that mana. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you very much, staff. Okay. Good. The last time we had this, we had, like, pretty good uh, mana recovery and staff mana economy. <clears throat> that is not something we have today. The best thing we got is the fact that we can use it for free for 10 seconds. Hey, I'll take it. This is my one concern is, yeah, that the uh, the enemies don't spawn right away. You know? Like, I want to use it like, like mad. I want to use it very effectively, but they don't spawn right away. What's a guy going to do? Okay. Alright. What do you got? Get a random perk. Increase your damage dealt by 30% when you're below 35. I'm never below 35. Pisha! We'll happily take the damage resist and the free altar. Where's that spell? Plus 20% damage, plus 25% mana usage. Ooh, weird but cool. Weird but cool. Because for the first 10 seconds... What on earth? For the first 10 seconds of the room, that's just a freebie. That is not a penalty at all. That being said, there is so many... Uh, so many seconds of wasted value. Because, yeah, we're yeah we're using our... Using our mana already now. I'm sure there's ways... Good ways we can uh, make this work out for us, though. Oh, you rude. I think we can make that work out for us. Uh, if we get that weapon switching one, then that's uh, that's a very good call as well. It's so basically any ways we can find uh, to get free, free usage mana. What the hell? Weird. Pull it in. Yeah. As much as it's, like, kind of sketchy to go for that, <laughs> I I do have the wonderful amulet that's going to make it irrelevant. And we can always just level up. We can just level up anyway, man. Level up anyway. Whoop. I like this character. It feels like we genuinely... I can feel the level ups coming fast and loose. All right, 10 seconds free. Ten, why am I looking at the sky? 10 seconds free. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. All right, now we primary fire. Okay. Oh, 
with the staff mana though. All right, all right. This this is looking good. I like this run already. I'm really I'm a I'm a big fan of this run's flavor already. I like high damage at a uh, at a specific cost. Uh, I like our staff, but you know what? Sure, twin fangs. Why not? Why not? I was kind of hoping to get an XP gain perk early on. I think that could be that could potentially be a really fun avenue for getting nutty strong as this character. Just leveling up so many times that your stats just get out of whack. Just crazy out of whack. Twin Fangs is fun. Really hoping this is a spell. Cool. Skull of Xanatos, the alt fire got nerfed. Charge the artifacts. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, that's done. Where is it? That's there. Nope. Oh, what an annoying enemy to have with this this one here. Trying to keep my eyes out for the carrots. I see that guy over there. Okay, good. Where's that last one? That's over there. Okay, okay. We're going to have to bop these boys. Okay. Every time, I swear, it feels like I'm getting hit from that. I'm too close for that. Oh, the damage. If we're close enough to hit with both of those, that is some... Da oh, my God. That is some damage. Yep. This, this is a no-fluff run. Our damage is already crazy. Wow. Wow. Okay, so now... Free mana usage for a second after switching. In addition to 10 free seconds of mana in the beginning of the room. I think we like, it'd be wise to sort of start out with the Skull of Xanatos. Since it's going to just like automatically home in there. Oh my god. Nice and, nice and free if we need it to be. Oh, you jerk. I don't think there's anything else that helps you switch even faster. But I, I'm i currently in love with this run. And we are only on floor two. It's just going to get sillier from here. I, I, I genuinely think it's just going to get sillier. Whoop. We really should just do this. I actually lost track of where the chest is. Okay. Okay. There you are. Hello, friend. They do drop actual XP, so we have to make sure we get it. I kind of want to not waste my active. Oh, shoot. Nice, nice, nice. Bring it. Good. I wouldn't call that a waste. Just trying to freebie at the mana there. Good stuff. Oh, I did not expect more life. I don't know why. Ooh. Ooh, mama. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. This is actually going to be really good. All right. Oh, I thought that was it. Get him. He's teleporting around, that's why. I think I might have been out of range. Okay. I 
think this is the super effective one. Curse. I'm not positive, though. I kind of wish our ability would just... Oh. All right. All right. I I suspected that that level up uh, or that perk is going to be really good. I'm excited to see. Say Jamie. I I want to level I want to I want to level this one up. As much as I like the Say Jamie and it does work really well with this build. This is an executive decision. Double experience, no rewards. Ooh, I'm for it. This is an executive decision. From a content perspective, I just really, really want to uh, level this one up. The XP we're going to get from this room should be, like, really good. We might, might get a double. And it's so small, we shouldn't miss anything. Doesn't matter what we use if they are resistant to it. It just does not matter. Cool. That's pretty early to get that. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just... I like this... It, it, as much as it's a very simple... Very simple uh, amulet. I like the idea of it because it's it lets you make other maybe more silly, crazy decisions. It's not like it's not cool and wild because it's such a novel idea of like, oh, have you ever heard of a health potion? No, that's not what I'm. I'm not saying it's like super unique in that way, but there's a lot of decisions that you can make once you're not quite as scared about sacrificing a silly amount of HP or being maybe even uh, sacrificing uh, an amount of max HP. It could keep you from having those situations where you really feel like you're just going to die in two big hits. Actually, we don't even need to swap off this. You know, if we can catch ourselves, this it, it does seem like it's going to be pretty good. Especially since we want to be doing this build where we're uh, swapping between our stuff like crazy. So we don't have to feel like we really need to be holding a specific thing that's going to be beneficial it's going to be very beneficial plus 5% mana from crystals all right see and like that we can even uh, we can utilize that even better too Mana getting split, maybe, would have been a good, I oh, a good idea, too. I, I see the validity in all of those. I just, I don't really feel, <laughs> stupid as it is. I don't really just, I just don't feel like going that fast today. I don't know. Sometimes it makes me feel a little ill to be moving so quick. Speaking of, it's Brulac the Sick. Doesn't matter what we use. Doesn't matter what we use. Even though they're weak, they're strong to poison. It doesn't matter what we use. That is that is pretty cool. I knew I'd be a fan of that the second I saw it. Whoop, whoop. Nice try, guy. All right. I'm loving this run. This may be one of my favorite runs we've had. It's just going so smooth. And I, you know, huge credit to Argo. Just, you know, like, after playing as Jacob a lot, not having that damage penalty is really noticeable, first, of all, first and foremost. Not having the 25% damage penalty, very noticeable. Getting to pick so many perks is is very noticeable as well. Uh, unfortunately, this one has a damage upgrade, so I think I'm going to stick with it. Unfortunately for that, rather. Okay. Whoop, whoop. What if there was a... Uh, 
there, there should be a perk that reverses the strength and weaknesses to elementals, but it, uh, but it doubles the, uh, oh, it doubles the strength, you know what I'm saying? Like, as a, uh, logical trade-off. So, like, it, it breaks your brain, breaks your brain a little bit as a trade-off, but that could be fun. So, like, ice, using ice to kill the ice guy would be, you know, the, the, what you need to do. And it would do extra damage or something. It'd be, a, it'd be a weird perk, but I'm sure you could have fun with it thematically, you know? Okay. No way, Jose. Oops. One. Where's... Oh. Saw that ball and I thought that was it. Oh. Ah, good, 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 good. Smart. That is a good way to balance that out. I, I, because I tried it before and I was like, yeah, I mean, like, it's really not worth it. It doesn't make sense to sacrifice, you know? Sacrifice the experience and the drops you'll probably get. Close. Ah, too close. Doesn't matter that they're fire resistant, it just doesn't matter at all. It's fun to feel like it's smart to use certain weapons that normally, you know. That's that would not be the use case there. You would not pull that one out against that enemy. I don't really want to pick Warlock because I don't know how much I care, basically. And, uh, you know what, let's go with this. Sprint speed up 10%. Huh. Doesn't, doesn't feel that good. I mean, like, the being able to, sp to sprint while frozen is nice. If we can dash while frozen, then that's, that's enough to make me uh, m even more excited about it. Oops. Ah. But we should probably care a little bit more about uh, mana. Mana economy, I guess. Oh, I thought I got you. Oh, heck. My preemptive uh, judgment of this increased difficulty is that it's fine like i think we can totally handle it uh but i the weird thing is is yeah I'm, I'm saying it on a run that's really good so it's hard hard to fully say that getting um what is it whatever the freaking orb one where you sacrifice 50 percent of your current hp it's really not too bad I could dash on that? Is that part of my, uh... Is that part of my perk? That they just didn't tell me? Big if true. I love Wrecking Ball. I love Wrecking Ball. Should I love it as much as I do? I don't know, man. I really want to, like, test out the dash on the tar again. Because if that's part of it, too, I, I like that a lot, actually. Like, as far as a weird little niche upgrade, it's... I think it's useful enough. Useful enough. I think. This is a lot of hallways, man. Enemies, where are you? There you are, there's got one. Great. Yeah, we, we killed two enemies, two enemies with our free mana. Use our other free mana. Okay. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Because I want his experience. Pull it in. Okay, good. Okay. Whoop. 
Nope. God, I love that the game has a dash. I just want to talk about that. I just... It's such a nice thing to, like, add mobility so you actually don't feel like... There's so many, like, first-person shooter roguelikes. It's such a tough... I feel like it's such a tough combo to nail. I feel like a guaranteed dash is kind of required. Eight points of shield. Hey, they buffed it. I do know we need to be at full HP to get that mana reduction, but I just, I'm fine. I'll be okay. We did not go for Solstice, and this is HP. Ooh, hey, that works out perfectly. Now we can use our potion and not feel as stupid about it. Uh, I don't care. That's not really how I, not really how I use this. Also, 25% is hardly that much. There's a lot of other amulets where that maybe would have bothered me, but all things considered, I really don't care about that. Where the hell is this? Okay. Wait, oh, it's not dead. Okay. Got it. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Uh, get him in the air. I will never get over the two reticles. Do not have to worry about uh, XP. Is this homing? No, I'm just I'm just a god at aiming. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't have to worry about XP from those. There is none in the obelisk rooms. That's one of my favorite things about those obelisk rooms. Not too bad. The obelisk room. Nope. I kind of like the idea of these homing ones so we can try and get the most as our first thing in the room so we kind of maybe can get some value out of it guaranteed. I think they nerfed the amount of experience the bookworm gives you. As they probably should have because like getting an extra perk is already really good. Oh, oh my god. He's just like not even looking behind me. Doesn't even matter. Whoop, come to me. Cool. I like the way that they use, um, I like the way they use their randomness in this game. You know, like it being a random weapon gets the damage up or you tra change your staff to a random staff and get a damage upgrade with it. Like it, it the randomness is in a way that promotes variety and not in a way that promotes... Why am I always looking in the wrong area when it, the room starts? What's that about? Uh, it, it promotes variety and not not necessarily, like, just getting screwed over. <laughs> like, the shrines, eh, you know, hit or, hit or miss on being screwed over. Doesn't matter if we use a fire attack. They are, they are not strong against anything. He might be weak to something, though. Whoa. I mean, the staff is just... Staff's our boy. Okay. Oh, no level. No level. Final floor. Huh? I think. Yep. Okay. All right. I've never had a four, a level four length ever be a, a five floor now so i think we could probably put that to bed as a, a thing that only happens with level ones being a little bit back and forth there um sure for variety's sake oh Ooh. i don't I don't think you could dash on it before. So either they change it so you can always dash. Oh, don't screw me. 
Oh, oh. All right. All right. I wish we would have started with that. That is, that is fun. Oh, that is a fun one. Oh, I like it. At least we get it for this floor, but that is... And the thing is, we do have a, a plus 10% plus 10% thing already, so... For damage resistance, so it's it's not even like we get that the full penalty of that there. And it's kind of... It's, it's, oh, there's a guy smuggled back there, Trojan Horse style! Uh, it's just not too bad, that's all I'm getting at. Okay. Did they buff this? I think they... They might have buffed it. I think they might have buffed the alt fire. Maybe. Oh my god, this room, man. Alright, we're cursed. I think we do less damage. Whoop. <laughs> yep. Get back to our strong boy. I think that there's still a units behind me too. Yeah, this is just this is just there's just a gross room. Just a gross room. Very very big. Okay. Very very big. Is that a double level up in this room? I mean, basically should be right. Dark Forge, it's not that it's not that good. Maybe. I mean maybe if we got it early and then we fully specced. That'd be a different story. Did we not we did use that already. Alright. Alright, alright. We could have done that differently, but we, you know what? We got so much dang experience. Experience. Yep. I wonder if there's any upgrade that makes it so you get uh, like a random spell every single room and you get some kind of benefit to go with it. Like random spell every room or random, you know, fill in the fill in the blank. Random whatever the hell you want. And as a penalty or as a benefit you get, uh, I don't know, extra damage. Fill in the blank. Anything you want. Be, be neat. More of these just small chunkers with minimal, minimal mana drops. It's a good staff. Uh, good one. Good one, Brent. Holy, there's so many of these. Why? Every freaking time, man. Do they... happening so we, weird so we go back to one that has mana so it's I think it's gonna be good to always make sure that that has a little bit of mana in it so we always switch back to that while we could like fully waste it and everything we should have went for that thing where we shot out the extra little damaging things Yep, yep, yep. Why is it? God, there's too many. Like, I'm not saying it's too hard or anything. It's just like, it's a very frustrating time. You know, there's just, it's just a, it's just too much. Too much for a single room. 
it's just it, it crosses over into that semi frustrating territory where it's just like I'm, I'm gonna take a lot of hits because I'm just like I don't really want to be here anymore I don't want to be in this room anymore I want to I want to be somewhere else and that's never a feeling you really want to give you don't want your player thinking about that you don't want to give the player the time to think about that you want them into the next room like give them a challenge let them move on to the next room you know what I'm saying where there's where there's also a challenge there's a lot of like you know I think that just I think that flows better whoop whoop with a lot of uh, fully free mana events, like with the 10 seconds at the beginning of the room and then the uh, every one, sec one second when we switch, that should help out. Uh, fire rate would help out a lot and would not, not fully impact our, hey, I'll take it, not fully impact our mana economy that much. Let's just not do that much damage in the alt fire. Okay. Don't know where the XP was there. Okay. Oh, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't kill that one. That's why I was like, could have sworn we didn't get the XP yet. It's because that looks like it's dead, but it's not. Okay. We don't have to worry about picking up any XP. Because there's none. Use it to pick up mana, though. Boop. 20% on pickup and 100% over 20 seconds. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to pick that up just because it's cool. I, I really like that. It's like a slight penalty. It's basically saying we get, what, a 20% increase to how much we get from potions, which is as much as two stacks of druidic. So that's kind of, it's just kind of interesting. It's a, it's neat. I think it's fun. It's a fun, goofy way of doing it. Even though, mm. It's too many. Too many. We got to get them with this stun before they get me with the stun. They're stun, they're stun immune. What am I doing? They're stun immune. They're not electric immune, but they are stun immune because I think they would be electric immune, but they are not at the moment. I have to say that perk, I think, is I, I think is about as good as I thought it would be, which is to say pretty dang good. You know, we're strong. Yep. Okay. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Hello. Even still, I'm getting used to the fact that the dash does not have iframes. Nor should it probably, but like, you know. With the cooldown it has, it probably should not have iframes. So, like, I'm not saying it should. I'm just saying, gotta get used to it. Because the most games I play are ones where they, they've got iframes on dodges. But in a, an FPS, you know, it's a pretty powerful thing to give. At least having, because with uh, the way that, you know, it, it's not really a bullet hell section, you know? Every section is kind of a bullet hell section, but you can't really give your player uh, a normal bullet hell. You know, you can't fill the screen too much. You can have them, like, dodge on the ground. You know, sort of. On the x-axis, you can have it be bullet hell-y, but you just... You can't use the z-axis. You can't, like, the, the vertical, the jumping up and down, you know. Or the Y. Would that be the Y axis? It would be the Y axis. Z axis is where you can play. Horizontal and Z, right? Mostly horizontal. Let's be real. 
Where was that chest at? In the middle. Hey! Do our perk first. Always. Always and forever. Blunderbuss sounds like fun. Ah, you jerk! Why did I get frozen? That free that shouldn't freeze. I don't think it does. What? What? Thanks. Fine. Oh! Alright, I mean, this was. I love this weapon. It's very fun. <laughs> very fun. Boss, good. Super big floor. This always happens. This always happens. The final floor is, is huge. Okay, doesn't matter that they are... <laughs> doesn't matter that they are fire immune. Doesn't matter that he's fire immune. None of that matters. Oh, I thought I got him. That scared me, actually. Yeah, that's right. Throwing a grenade at a flying enemy. What of it? What do you mean it's stupid? I know that. Oh, my God. <laughs> that stalled for so long. Whoa. Whip. Whip. Oh, that fire. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I try too hard to do trick shots, and it always gets me bopped. I want to be able to keep on doing stupid stuff with my with this, so I think that we got to up our sustain, and that's a really good way to do it. That's, that's weirdly one of the best sustain upgrades you get in this game. I mean, I'd say especially when you're probably Ar like when you're Argo. Oh, like watch this. Oh, never mind. We'd have to level. We'd have to level up for you to have anything to watch there. just so fun is it like is it very dangerous yeah of course it is uh, but it's fun oh boy a lot of them a lot of them a lot of them a lot of them I feel like we might have missed XP in the last room there we go full HP full HP just like that Whoop. <laughs> you have to admit that that was good. <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise, man. That was good. <laughs> That right there is why I, like, it's worth all the friendly fire just to see those fun things happen. It's so worth it. So worth it. If we could get the friendly fire uh, resistance perk, you're done, sons. You're done, sons. Oh. Okay. Oop. Okay. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. We done? We are done. D U N E E done. Okay. <laughs> but I gotta say, I 
It's a, it's a very good character. Argo's a very good character. XP is just... It's hard to deny how strong it is, you know? Set him on fire. Stun him, too. Poison him, too. Fight sick with sick. I mean, they're, they're not poison immune. Or, well, they might be poison immune. They, uh, I think they're immune to the status effect. But not the damage. Okay, that's, it's, a, it's an important distinction. This man, however, he can be poisoned. Holy moly. Ow. <laughs> oh, man. I asked for that on floor one. You give it to me now? That is literally the only time that that's nothing. To be fair, basically, I think literally every single perk in the final room after the final boss is useless. Uh, all right, I'm gonna hit all of these so that we can just see what they do. Twin fangs, level up, cool. Penance, after being hit, you become invulnerable for a second. I like that. 20% uh, speed boost for 1.5 seconds after being hit. Kind of funny. Fury, after being hit, you deal plus 50% more damage for one second. That's pretty good. Items take plus 200% longer to disappear. Seems worthy, especially if you're not playing Argo. It seems extra, extra, extra useful. Extra, extra. Not worth going all the way down there. Two available upgrades. Step one. Plus 5% health restored from health potions. Hey, and an extra charge I feel like is just going to be really, really good. Level 5, two available upgrades. I'm so curious what a special effect is for something like this. Is that the only one that's level... That's the only one that's level 5. Well, how about that? I think we go over and do some upgrades to a couple weapons. We'll get this passive. Plus 10% ice damage resist. I thought I already had. Guess not. Plus 10% to status effect duration on enemies. I like that one too. Uh, so tough for us to get one uh, experience, I guess. All right. Well, bada bing, bada bow. We still have an amulet left to unlock. Oh. I think that's what we're going to be trying next time. We'll see. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, please do hit the like button. It doesn't take any time at all. And it helps out more than you could know with search results and recommendeds on the sidebar and everything like that. Trying desperately to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you would help me with that push, that would be fantastic. Been doing it for eight years. Honestly, like five, what was it? When did Ziggurat 1 come out? Five, six years ago? The jump I've gone to from then, like, from then I was probably at, like, I was probably under a thousand when I was doing the original Ziggurat. Uh, and where here we are. Here we are! Trying to push for that hundred thousand. Get that meaningless plaque for the wall, but more importantly, just, it's a fun landmark, or a fun uh, milestone that I've been, you know, working for for a long time. So any help with that would be greatly appreciated. And that's going to do it. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for more. Rogue likes some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.